Hey guys, Bobo here. In this video I'm going to talk about tilt. What it is, why we tilt, how to avoid it, the different types of tilt, and how to make the tilt go away. I know this is going to be a long video filled with information and this type of video is completely new to me, so hopefully you like it. Recently I've been taking a break from streaming and YouTubing. Some of you already know this, but I have something called the tilt meter on my stream. It, you, it goes up and down and show you how tilted I am. And for the first time ever, it hit max level. I don't have the moment recorded, but I promise it was not pretty. I was smashing my keyboard on the desk. I like threw soda cans across my apartment still with soda in it. Uh, I was just screaming and like just not a good moment. And that night when I tilted so hard, I dropped from Platinum 1 to Platinum 5. In one night. So right now I do all I can to slowly climb again. I want to get Diamond this season also, like that's all I want. Um, during this break, I've done a lot of research on how to climb ELO and how to keep your emotions out of the game. And uh, I watched a bunch of YouTube videos, I read articles, and I found a lot of useful and interesting information. And I want to share that with you guys, that's why I'm making this video. And uh, yeah, I, I really hope this will help. To get rid of tilt, we need to understand what it is and how it affects us. And the easiest way to explain this is that your brain have two dominant ways to make a decision. It can make a logical decision or it can make an emotional decision. And it's obvious when you play, you want to make as many logical decisions as you can. But once your brain feels a threat, in this case something happened and uh, you're afraid that you may lose the game. Your brain switches into a different state and kind of shut down the logical part of the brain and let the emotional part make all the decisions. Different people react differently when they lose. Have you ever heard someone say, why do you get upset? It's just a game. Well, yeah, it's a game, but it's not just a game. I want to play a short clip now from one of Sky Williams videos. If you haven't seen the full video, I really recommend that you do that. Uh, just click on his face or look in the description, I will link the video. According to me, it's um, one of his best ones. And um, I can relate to that video so much. But uh, yeah, just watch the clip uh, when he talks about it's not just a game. It could be just a game for you, and that's perfectly fine. Be like, hey, if you think it's just a game, that's fine, but this is more than a game to me. It's where I found my happiness, where I met my friends, and when I really got to know who I am, when I really got to develop my own sense of self. So to you, it's just a game, and there's nothing wrong with that. But, but don't try to trivialize what I love just because you don't have the same connection as me. Imagine that this triangle is a person, and this guy, he likes to do a lot of things. He likes to skate, play league, take pictures, he likes to dance and cook, he plays guitar, he paints, he plays piano, baseball, and basketball. Now, each individual activity just have a limited amount of time put into it. His day is 24 hours, just like yours and mine. And this person will probably not reach a high level of anything here unless he takes time away from some other activities. Let's say he wants to become a better basketball player. That means he needs to take away some time from uh, his baseball and piano practice. And then we have this guy. He only have one thing. League of Legends. That's just one thing. He puts all of his time into League of Legends. He's the type of guy, 
people tell to get a life. Now, this guy, maybe he's not as good as the other guy at League of Legends. It all depends, of course, but if one of this guy's 10 skills fall off, he can just fall back on the other 9. Like, yeah, it doesn't matter if I lose at League of Legends because I'm still a god at basketball. And, you know, I'm pretty good at baseball and painting, dancing, and so on. Now, this guy who puts all of his time into League, like, he built his confidence on the fact that he's good at League of Legends. If he fails at League, he has nothing. I hope that made sense, guys. Anyway, mistakes happen every game. And these mistakes is what set you on tilt. And you feel like you're bad teams every game. Because people make mistakes every game. Even you. And when this happens, you feel a threat. You don't want to lose more LP. You care about your rank. And your emotions take over. What makes you tilt... Well, that's different for everyone, but they all share a core theme of something that was not supposed to happen actually happened. You did not expect to lose the level 2 all-in. You did not expect to get camped the whole game. You did not expect to lose 5 games in a row. You did not expect your top laner to go 0-18 in lane, and you did not expect your teammate to face check a brush 45 minutes into a game and throw it all away. That's not supposed to happen, so your logical part of the brain can't handle it, and the emotional part takes over and makes bad decisions for you. I think we all experience this. The first mini wave comes. You go back and forward, you're super focused on getting the perfect CS, and you fail to last hit the first minion. And then you end up missing most of the farm for that wave. Like, that's not supposed to happen. Your feeling takes over, you're disappointed, you're annoyed, you're tilted. Everyone goes on tilt, even pro players, but there are things you can do to minimize the risk of going on tilt in the first place. If you're well rested, well hydrated, and well fed, you will be less vulnerable to get triggered. So never play when you're tired or hungry, make sure to always drink a lot of water, and never play if you have a bad day, if you're sad, if you're angry, it will only get worse. Or if you have any distractions like uh, a big school project, or you need to do the dishes, whatever it is, take care of that first. Clear your head, then sit down and play. And to avoid tilt even more, you need to recognize what your personal triggers are and how to avoid them. So I'm gonna list some of the most common triggers and talk about the different types of tilt. Try to see which one relates to you the most and later in the video I will give you a few tips on how to make the tilt go away. So, the most common triggers are Something random or unlikely happen. Your mid laner leaves the game because the jungler takes blue buff. Or uh, you're almost sure you're gonna win the game but a random team fight breaks out and you end up losing. It can be uh, an unlucky event. Like uh, your teammates just suck. You keep losing game after game after game. Or you get in queue with a troll from the last game. Or, like, it, it can just be toxic players, like trash talking enemies or raging teammates. When people talk about tilt, they usually think about someone raging and get upset about small things. But that's just the easiest type of tilt to see. That doesn't mean that it's the most common one. Remember, tilt is when the emotional part of your brain takes over. You can't make logical decisions, so you make stupid emotional based decisions. Rage? Well, that's just one of the emotions. So let's talk about the different types of tilt, and we can start with the one we just mentioned. 
the Ranger. As I mentioned, this one is probably the easiest one to detect. I bet you all see the streamer throw a headset. Or your friend is just screaming his lungs out in TeamSpeak. Or you sit in a solo queue game and the hate for your idiot teammates just keep building up. And then you just explode and go ham on the keyboard. So, like, you're angry, everything is going wrong, like, all your teammates suck, and you're filled with rage, right? We have the impatient tilter. This doesn't happen to me that much, but it happens a lot to two people I play a lot of rank with. Almost every game. This type of tilt usually happens in a very slow and boring game. You force plays and attempt to get more action, and because you're forcing the plays instead of playing smart, they are usually sloppy executed and you end up frustrated because you don't get the right results. We also have Rambo mode. A few years back I called this the Trilla Syndrome, but everyone says Rambo mode now. Um, so I'm just gonna use that. The reason why I call it Trinda Syndrome was, uh, well, a few years back Trinda was an extremely popular uh, top laner. And whenever someone got fed with him, they thought they were a god and just tried to do this 1v5 plays. I guess the same thing goes for Riven or like vain players thinking they're Gosu. But yeah, this can happen to any champion. I've done it a lot of times, not the 1v5 attempts, but I got fed early game and I think I can 1v1 anyone and then get completely destroyed. I was too confident, I got surprised by the enemy damage. I mean confidence is great, but you need to remember that you're not immortal. We also have the scared one, and this type of tilt is almost undetectable. It's triggered by the fear of losing even more. Imagine that you lost a few games, you're back at zero points, and you know that if you lose this game, you will drop a division. And this happens to me all the time. It doesn't matter if I take a break for a few days, because when I log back into League, I queue up for a ranked game, I know that if I lose this game, look, I'm done, I'm dropping. So I'm already entering a game tilted. I'm so scared of losing that I let the fear take over. But... This can also be triggered in-game. You can enter the game very calm, very relaxed, and something happened. Let's say your mid laner gets camped and died a few times, and you're thinking, Okay, let's not fuck up my lane also. I need to play careful. So, because I'm so scared of losing, I feel like every single mistake will be enough for the enemy team to win the game. What happens is that I'm staying way way back in the lane I'm losing farm I don't trade I never push I just let the enemy team run me over and that's because I'm afraid of making plays I'm afraid of making a mistake I don't want to take damage I don't want to die like if I push the jungle may come so yeah I just better stay here under my turret and desperate try to get a few last hits what actually happens is I'm giving the enemy a free lane. Um, they build up their CS lead more and more and by the time it's time to team fight, well, <laughs> you're just so far behind. And we have the point of no return. This is what happened when I dropped from Platinum 1 to Platinum 5 in one night. Like, of course, a mix of other tilts also but uh, yeah I reached this point point of no return so you lost so many games you feel like there's nothing you can do to make you stop lose so you might as well keep playing maybe you get lucky and get some LP back or yeah maybe you keep losing like you just stop care to make the tilt go away first of all you need to know and admit that you're on tilt so what tilts you is it toxic teammates, slow lane phase, do you get filled with anger, or just lose all hope whenever you're behind? Whatever it is, it can be fixed. I will give you guys a few tips on how to make the tilt go away faster, but first I need to tell you something, and 
this is the part where a lot of you guys will be very disappointed. But there's really only one way to make the tilt go away. Stop playing. Whenever you start the tilt, finish the game, take a break. You just need to wait it out. Try not to think about it. If you are the type of person that needs to think about it, fine. Try to analyze the game. What could you have done better this game? And is there anything you could have done to avoid the tilt? For example, I've been losing games where my teammate rage quit and I got angry and tilted hard. But I've also lost games where my teammates rage quit and I didn't care at all. But the break is really, really important, guys. For some of you, well, five minutes is enough and for others it can take hours. Just make sure that before you sit down and play another game, that you're relaxed and you're back to the right state of mind. I did promise you guys a few things you can do to make the tilt go away faster, so here they are. Alright, uh, this sounds stupid, but it's supported by a ton of psychological research that smiling for 60 seconds will change the chemical response in the body and mind, resulting in you feeling happier. So yeah, you look like a retard sitting in front of your screen, forcing a smile when you actually just want to hit your fist through the drywall. But who is watching? And even if you are playing at a friend's house, or if you're streaming, you're smiling, like it's a good thing. So. Force yourself to smile for just one minute and you will feel better. Drink cold water. This is best for the rager or basically when you get annoyed or angry. For example, toxic teammates or when you get camped by the jungler. Yes, I'm back at it again, nagging about the water, but just think about this. You get into a fight with someone in real life, like not a fist fight, but an argument. You get angry, you start to scream. There's a reason why the cartoon guys get red in their faces when they're angry, right? Your blood starts to pump, the body temperature is rising, and you start to sweat. So drinking cold water will bring your body temperature down again. Music. It's great. We all know the power music have to change your mood. Use that! Like, usually when I play, I listen to rock, rap, dubstep. But whenever I start to tilt, I change to something that is more relaxing and happy. Like, I really recommend you guys to check out something called Jazz Hop or Electro Swing. Jazz Hop is really relaxing, it's so nice to, to listen to. And Electro Swing, it just, it's just happy. You get happy listening to it. So, um, Jazz Hop or Electro Swing on YouTube, I find it almost impossible to tilt when I listen to that. So, check that out or, I don't know, find something that works for you. The stop loss technique is something used in Black Jack and Poker. And this is perfect so you don't ever have to reach the point of no return tilt that I did and drop four divisions in one night. I've been doing this for a few days now and as you saw earlier, like I've been climbing every day, uh, slow and steady, get your rank, it's a marathon, it's not a sprint, it's gonna take time. So yeah, baby steps. Anyway, the stop loss technique is before you even start, you set a minimum level that you're willing to drop to and you never change the number. Uh, whenever you hit that number, you just stop playing. It can be something like, um, I'm only allowed to lose 40 LP, or I'm stopping after three defeats. Um, I've been using this technique even before I went on this huge losing streak. I've been cheating with it a lot, and you saw the results of that, but I've been trying um, both you know, LP and defeats, and what works best for me is that I stop after two defeats. Not in a row, in a day. 
or I can just stop without any defeats and just walk away like a king. Whenever you feel stressed, angry, whatever it is, just pause, slow down, and take a few deep breaths. I've done this on stream so many times. Let's say, once again, you get camped by the enemy jungler. After the third gank, you get a bit annoyed. Just breathe. Like, if you can't focus on your breathing, press B, recall. AFK and base for just 5 seconds to take a few deep breaths. So, just gently fill your lungs with air through your nose and then slowly exhale from your mouth. Just take 3 to 5, maybe 10 deep breaths. Like, it calms you down immediately. You have no idea how powerful this is. Another thing you can do to help the tilt go away faster is just to move around or do something else. Stand up, take a walk, go for a run, uh, do some push-ups, take a shower, or like, why not learn how to juggle? Um, anyway, it's almost impossible to think about what bothers you in the same way if you're doing other stuff. I'm pretty stubborn, so for some reason I hold on to the anger and the sadness and whatever it is when I'm going for a walk, but uh, I'm not thinking about it the same way uh, as if I were just staring at the defeat screen. And after a while, your head kind of forget what bothers you and you start focusing on the new activity you're doing. Our brain is always so focused on the negative things. This is where tilt comes from. You expect something good to happen, but then something bad happened instead. You all remember this one guy who AFK'd and made you lose the game. You all remember this one guy who just kept trash talking your whole team. But how many times do you remember seeing the enemy team right in all chat? Please report her ADC, she's so toxic. Or how many games do you remember winning because the enemy team had someone who rage quit? It should be the same amount, but you only focus and you only remember the times it affects you in a negative way. In a day, a month, or even a year from now, is this one game that tilted you? Is it really gonna matter? Will you look back and remember this defeat? Or will you remember your first penta kill with your main champion in a 4v5 game and you end up winning? Oh, uh, yeah, Vayna focused me like. Heck, come on. Oh, nice. No! 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 One more, one more! Yes! <laughs> Boom! Shaka like motherfucker! Finally, a fucking pentakill with Ash! Yes! Guys, remember that we are playing a game. We can't win every time. But I hope that this video can help you not to go on big losing streaks. And I hope that this video can help you deal with the defeats even better. Or like even stop you from tilt in the first place. But also remember this. Anything can happen in solo queue. Even if it feels like the game is over. As long as you can keep calm, not tilt and your nexus is still alive. Anything can happen. <laughs> Jesus fucking God. Holy shit! Holy shit, man! Oh my God! 
that time, dude. That's all I have for you guys. It's been a long video and it's the first time I do anything like this. You know, you sit and talk with random gameplay in the background. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Also, let me know in the comments if it helped you in any way. Uh, let me know what tilts you and what do you do to prevent tilt and stop it. Uh, if you want to make me happy, you can subscribe here. And if you want to see another video, say when KP hosted me, you can click here. And um, that will make me very happy. Um, I don't have anything else to say. Good luck in Soul Q, guys. And uh, see you next time.